So did you see the picture I tweeted of the, the bald eagle dropped a dead fish on the Lake of the Isles Parkway? Yes. I had people contacting me asking where, to, where they could find that location. So I was trying to think why that seemed familiar. Why did, why did that? It's, I had a little bit of deja vu. And uh, so a, a bald eagle dropping a dead fish on Lake of the Isles Parkway. And then it dawned on me. Cam Gordon tweeted about Mayor Fry and his appointment of Tom Hoke to be board chair of M- MPHA. <laughs> it was like, that's the perfect metaphor for the return of Tom Hoke is a bald eagle dropping a dead fish on Lake of the Isles Parkway. What do you think, Jason? Well, certainly Tom Hoke lives near Lake of the Isles Parkway. I, I think that it is a very apt metaphor, um, you know, making Tom Hoke your dead fish of of the the recent news um and one thing does that make jacob fry the bald eagle it does and here's why i think that that's so apt is people tend to think of bald eagles primarily as like these noble hunting predators but in in actuality they're often just as much a scavenger as anything they're they're happy to pick at a dead corpse that something else has left laying uh, much like Jacob Fry did in his initial mayoral campaign, um, picking at the issue of MPD that he used to uh, throw Betsy Hodges under the bus. Is this just a function of your anti-American views that you uh, you hate the bald eagle? Well, you know, Ben Franklin actually wanted the wild turkey to be the national symbol, not the bald eagle because he found bald eagles to be loathsome, but found wild turkeys to be very cunning and um, elusive and more of a uh, intelligent creature than the bald eagle. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. A little wildlife segment. Maybe you should learn some of your own American history. I think it would have been a mistake to make uh, the, the national bird a turkey, though. I mean, they are hilarious. I think turkeys are hilarious. Well, they're they're coming back. So you know what else is coming back, Jason? Boarding commission meetings in uh, in person only, no live stream. City has said, uh, city clerk has said, we don't have the resources to do this. I'm a little sympathetic to that because, you know, it is work, and not all the meetings happen in the council chambers with uh, cameras. Some of them are just happening in random rooms in city hall. It wouldn't be easy for like dozens of boarding commission meetings to like set up a a stream. And so I'm I'm sympathetic, but it would be simple to simply drop a voice recorder on the table and upload the audio to YouTube. That's something you can do. Yeah. I would recommend it. And and spe- we need to live stream the Charter Commission. If if nothing else, live stream the Charter Commission. They have shown that they have uh, surprising and outsized power for the fact that they are just Basically, a neighborhood association style group that has been elevated to uh, having the power to put things on the ballot that can destroy our lives. So let's keep live streaming that. And people, please keep a- applying to the Charter Commission. There, we have some openings now. I think there are three openings right now. Keep applying. Uh, yeah, and I think, you know, since that is a commission that is required by state law, maybe there's some. Uh funding that they could get to uh, to make sure that those are live streamed or at least recorded and uploaded 